Well, the visit to Levy has um, been a, a long commitment from the Scottish Government to local government, and I'm delighted we're in a position to introduce legislation. This levy will create a new power for local councils to introduce a charge on overnight accommodation, with revenue raised from the levy being used to support tourist facilities and the visitor economy in their particular area. So will councils be administering it? Yes, councils will be administering it, but in advance of introducing a levy, a council will have to consult with the local community and, importantly, with tourism businesses. This can help to identify how revenue raised from the levy can be best spent to support and grow the visitor economy. Do you envisage it working then in a local setting or is that a national setting? This is very much a, a local power and it will be up to local councils to decide whether or not they wish to introduce a levy should Parliament pass the legislation. So there's a lot of flexibility um, within what we're proposing and it would be up for the local council to decide whether they want to introduce a levy and if they do det decide to introduce a levy it would be through consultation and engagement that they would be able to come to a decision on how that revenue raised from the levy can be used to support the visitor economy. Do you have any idea how much you're talking about? Well it will vary between local authority to local authority. We know that some local authorities in Scotland have a very high number of tourists, others um, not quite as many. It will also depend upon, for example, the rate that the individual local authority wishes to set. It also depends for what parts of our local authority, whether in all of our local authority, maybe just one particular area, and of course whether they would choose to administer the rate all year round or perhaps just at particular periods. So we've, with the legislation we've published a suite of supporting documents which gives indicative um, revenues that could be raised, but ultimately it will determine a number of factors that will be for the local authority to decide themselves. And finally, it's an accepted fact across the world, tourist tax, if you want to call it that, but uh, what about the opposition here in Scotland, which seems to be quite vociferous? Well, I've actually had you know, some really very positive and encouraging conversations, not just with local government, but with many tourism businesses, who see that actually the visitor levy has the potential to be a real force for good. And that's why it's so important that if the legislation is passed by Parliament, any local authority wishing to introduce a levy will be required to consult with business and their wider community to ensure that revenue raised from the visitor levy is best deployed in a way that can support the visitor and tourist economy. So nothing to worry about in the Well, of course, we will continue to engage very closely. I'm very much looking forward to the, the process of parliamentary um, scrutiny. Um, I'll be watching that with interest. Um, I'll also be continuing to engage closely with businesses across Scotland and local authorities to make sure that this new power, which will ultimately be for local authorities to decide whether or not the wish to use, use has the potential to be that real force for good and help to deliver the dynamic, vibrant tourist economy in Scotland that we want to continue to see.